Hi everybody, Danielle here with another waist training video for you. And today I'm going to be talking about what you're going to look for when you want an actual waist training corset. Now just because it has the label of a corset or waist injury doesn't mean it's necessarily going to train your waist. So if that's what you're looking for, you need to look for something of a higher quality that can actually train your waist. So first of all, what not to look for. This is what you would call a fashion corset. It has plastic boning. Um, what you do not want plastic boning for is it will actually get warm with your body. Um, it will mold and bend, uh, making it not waist trainable. So this can be deceiving. It does look like a normal corset. It has a lace up the back. Um, it doesn't have a steel busk front. That's one thing that gives it away. Just the plastic um, hook and eye closures, which you do not want. So anything with plastic on it will not train your waist, so make sure that every bit of boning inside of it, some people do say uh, steel bone corset, and that's just because the front is steel boned or the back, um, so you need to really check out each of the boning panels and make sure that those are also steel boned. Um, so you do not want this to train your waist. This is for something that just looks fancy, nice occasion, you wanna wear. So, no. Another thing people ask me all the time is if a waist cincher will train your waist. This is a waist cincher. Um, this is a Vedette Style 103. I did a video of this in my pre one of my previous videos um, on how to hide your back fat. This is that same waist cincher. Um, it is steel boning. There are, let me see, one, two, three, four boning channels in this. Uh, as you can see, one, two, three, and four. Um, like I said, these are our steel bonings, but it's not actually going to train your waist. This is made of latex. It stretches. You do not want to stretch your material because it's not going to hold you in um, and pressure, put pressure on the right spots to actually be able to bring your ribs in and keep them there. Uh, this will maybe bring you in an inch or so, so if you're looking just to smooth yourself down um, under some type of flowy clothing, this will do that. Uh, you don't want something that's super tight with this because you will be able to see it when you bend because um, it does have, obviously, um, not boning everywhere, so it will bend. Um, this would be something that would be more waist trainable. This is a double steel bone corset. You can use a single bone, um, but basically what you're looking for is um, the more panels you have with boning channels, or the more boning that you have in your corset, the more effective it's going to be. The more comfortable, the more channels. Um, basically, you're gonna be able to wear it for longer periods of time. It's going to be stiffer. It's not going to stretch out. This isn't a material that has a one or two way stretch. This is a you know high quality cotton, um, or if you're getting them custom made for you, uh, they, they do have different materials that is even more higher strength than what we offer. It's just a lot more expensive. Um, so basically, this is what you want to look for. You want to make sure, like I said, each of these are steel boned channels. The more steel bones you have, the better it is to train your waist. So even though, like I said, it says corset and it was, you know, a really cheap, great deal, it seemed like, maybe on eBay or another site that you're not so familiar with, you really need to check out the description, maybe talk to somebody, um, check out their customer service, see what they know about their products because a lot of the time it isn't going to be what you want. With a corset, you kind of get what you pay for in a lot of sense. Um, Orchard Corset, yeah, does have great deals. There's other companies that does have better deals, you know, as well as your $2,000 custom made corsets but you really need to check out those companies as well, like I said, to make sure that it is actually what you want. It is gonna train your waist, because if you are gonna put the time and dedication into something like this, you want to be wearing something right. Like I say before, this is a form of body modification. You need to take it seriously and slow, and you know, spend the extra couple bucks, even if you need to save up for a couple more months to get a high quality corset that's gonna do what you want. Um, corsets that don't have or aren't made with strong material and don't have a number of boning or have the plastic boning in them, they will fall apart a lot faster. Um, a waist training corset should last anywhere from 10,000 up hours when a fashion corset or 
you know, any type of cheaper corset may last you only a thousand or less, depending on how much you were using it. So basically you get more bang for your buck um, going the higher route and spending a little bit more cash and getting something that you really need if, if you're serious about this. Um, so if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me. I will be happy to research it for you if I do not know. Um, but yeah, so thank you for catching my channel. My name is Danielle Disease. Catch me next time.